He's a host of the podcast Science Rules with Bill Nye, and he joins us. Bill Nye, it's so good to see you. I'm going to take a page out of your TikTok and, and channel my inner Bill Nye where you say this. I want you to wear a mask to protect me from you, you're screaming, and the particles from your respiratory system from getting into my respiratory system. And I saw that and I said, you go, Bill Nye. So when you see people that don't <laughs> want to wear a mask because they think it's politics or they think it's a hoax, you must want to gnash your teeth to powder. What are you thinking when you see that? Well, it's... It's the, the, this anti-science thing that's so troubling. Uh, and then it's also everybody, we have rules. That's how we run our society. You pay taxes on the whole road, but you only get to drive on one side at a time. That's in everybody's yeah. best interest. And you know, there was a long time when people thought, well, we can't ban cigarette smoking in restaurants, we'll lose business. Well, it turns out nobody really likes cigarette smokes in a restaurant, but very few people like cigarette smoke in restaurants and we banned it and now restaurant revenue went up. We can do this, everybody. Wear a mask. Yeah, you know what, Bill, earlier we, we did a piece with doctors and nurses and one doctor said, it's like running through a red light and I thought that was a very good analogy. So you've got a simple demonstration experiment, that's what you do so well, to explain why the mask works. What, what have you got? Well, what a mask does, you know, it's doing two things. It's keeping you from breathing uh, particles in the air, but it's also keeping particles from you from getting in the air to infect other people. So uh, this is a, 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 an N95. We hear about these all the time. I bought this at a hardware store several years ago. I've had it around for working in the shop. <laughs> Can't blow out the candle. And then similarly, uh, particles in the air very seldom get through this mask. Uh, here's a mask made from two pieces, two layers of cloth, made by a gal at the Planetary Society, Emily Lactua, who's very skilled, and this has a pipe cleaner in it. Some air gets through it, but not nearly as much. Now, some masks aren't especially good at all. Here's a cloth mask that someone's experimenting with. Yeah, uh, not every cloth mask does the job, but in general, yeah. a mask keeps particles yeah. from in you from getting in the air to, for, to infect other people. Here's the thing. The particles yeah. uh, that are carrying the virus are droplets from your respiratory system, from your breath, from your nose and mouth. And so when they get in the air, they don't fall like pebbles. They fall very slowly because they're so small. If you are maple syrup and a popcorn kernel, and you drop the popcorn kernel in maple syrup, it falls, but very, very slowly, because the syrup is thick. The same is true of particles from your breath when they get in the air. Here's a uh, laser pointer, which I'll keep on using this uh, remarkable clothespin technology. And then when I put baking powder in the air, you can see it here. You can also see the baking powder mm -hmm. up here. It doesn't fall like yeah. a rock. It stays in the air. So when someone breathes in your presence, it's very likely in a closed environment where the uh, particles can't blow away, it's very likely it'll get inside you. This is not rocket surgery, everybody. This is very much yeah. in your everyday experience. So please wear a mask, please. Yeah, listen, listen, you are, you are preaching to the choir here. Do you have any idea, Bill, how long the particles last in the air? Say a person who has COVID has been in the room and the particles are in the room. Do you have any idea how long it lasts after they leave the room well, and somebody else walks in? How long it lasts? Uh, well, I'd certainly say five minutes, but we had a gal from MIT on the podcast on Science Rules who's a fluid mechanics uh, expert. And uh, the big, the fascinating thing is how far the particles go when you cough or sneeze and then how long they persist. It's certainly five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, one study had mm -hmm. people waiting 45 minutes uh, to enter the room. So the answer is once again, absolutely without question, it depends. <laughs> and what, and what about all, Bill, the importance of wearing the mask? Uh, we're running out of time. I want to make sure we cover this because I see people wearing the mask, but it's not covering their nose. Why is that important to cover your oh, nose man. too, in addition to your oh, mouth? Oh man, if the nose is exposed, <laughs> you're not wearing a mask. 
Why don't you just walk around <laughs> spitting on me? What are you talking about? You have to close, you have to cover the nose. I mean, this is, you know, as my parents remarked many, many times, both parents, common sense is not that common. But, you can't count on it. Common but sense people is not that common. Wearing and, but what a mask about outside? What is about common sense? Yeah. And what about when you're outside and you're jogging or you're riding a bike and there's no one around? Should you still be wearing a mask? Well, I would say in common sense terms, probably you don't need to. But when someone's within 10 meters, 30 feet or so, put the mask back up, put it on. And uh, if you can't breathe well enough with the mask on, then do a different activity. Slow down. We, we've all got to get through this, everybody. And you can't. We just can't say, well, I have a right to breathe really hard and exercise in public and spit on everybody. We can't, we can't have that, at least for the next yeah. several months. Yeah. So uh, let's do I, this. I Come you, on, Bill. everybody. I we are you. all in this together. I know, I know, Gail. You're doing important work, you. you all. Carry on over there. I hear you. And I, I don't think we can say this enough. I thank you, Bill Knight. Listen, a lot of people were watching you tie your bow tie before we went on the air. They said it was very impressive. I said, is that hard to do? They go, not when you watch him do it. Thank you, Bill Knight. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you guys, this is a square bow. It won't come untied during the day. When you all get a little older, you'll all be wearing bow ties. Carry on. Thank you. <laughs> all right. And before we go, do you quickly have anything about the science of dogs aging? Is it seven years or more than seven years? Do you have any science on that? Yes or no? Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure this new study is quite reasonable. You know, I've spent spent a lot of time talking with dogs, mm. and they certainly act All right. like okay. kids. Well, they All don't right. always respond. You know, they they act like kids when they're puppies, and they act like uh, very thoughtful older people when they're older. <laughs> so that it's as we would say, non-linear is very reasonable to me. All right, it's very reasonable. <laughs> Thank you, Bill Nye. Now, Thank Gail, you, Bill Nye, the science guy. What? Yes, sir. Thank you, Gail.